Ideal viewing tonight for the full moon. It is the full November moon, the beaver frost snow moon, some of the nicknames for it. It's officially full at 602 and then sets tomorrow at 718 in the morning. Uh, there's also a total lunar eclipse. And what makes this one interesting is it's uh, the last one that you'll see for three years. Next one is in March of 2025. We can catch it, uh, the total eclipse beginning around 517 in the morning, max eclipse uh, just before 6 a.m. And of course, it sets uh, a little after 7 a.m. So it's going to be a narrow window and it'll be dropping toward the horizon. So you may have some difficulty, but if you get out early enough, you may catch a little bit of it. Temperatures absolutely tank. That's what I was talking about as far as the uh, gear grinding there. That's the high Saturday in the 40s, which means overnight lows are going to be that much colder as well. You can see the above normal temperatures slowly giving way to a big blast of below normal air uh, temperatures, below normal uh, air anomalously cold air that could linger all the way through the middle of next week. So it may have some lasting power as well. In the six to 10 day temperature outlook from last week where we had that big bubble of above normal temperatures in the eastern U.S., it has completely flipped. Pretty much the entire U.S. is looking for an outbreak of uh, some significantly colder air. We've got a chance to get her our first hard freeze in Lexington. We've been down to 31 degrees. We've had a freeze. We just haven't been down to the 20s yet. Uh, we could do that over the weekend. Our average first one is yesterday, November 6th, and we're heading for that for the upcoming weekend. Something else that bears watching, not so much for us, but for Florida, subtropical storm Nicole, that mass of clouds. This shows the Euro and the GFS, two of the biggies, the models, and it shows it tightening up around the Bahamas and possibly impacting South Florida later this week and then eventually recurving northeast. Pay less attention to the track and the possibility that it's going to be hovering around the Bahamas and down towards uh, South Florida. Could be an extended threat for uh, some significant rainfall, damaging wind, and of course storm surge from that. So Florida uh, may take a beating later this week, especially the east coast. 70 degrees today, partly to mostly sunny. Beautiful day tonight, down to around 40 degrees. Still a chill in the air for Election Day. Of course, the sun is up after polls open and down before they close. Uh, but temperatures should hit the mid 60s tomorrow and it's coolish, a little cooler than today. And then we bounce back into the mid 70s. There's that weekend cool down. Look at that. Multiple mornings with lows in the 20s, highs in the 40s. Cats back in town Saturday. Good thing it's a noon game.